Uh, but uh, no, I was at the border last week, uh, at Mar-a-Lago the week before. Uh, I have made a lot of connections with a lot of good people in Mississippi. Uh, we have a lot of problems in the world, and you know we need to get people that are actually like I'm a businessman. I've been in business for over 40 years. Uh, successfully, I've built businesses. I've uh, created thousands of jobs. Uh, I know finance, I know everything when it comes to business. We need people that have a business background. Uh, Donald Trump, I was never a huge fan of his, but when he announced for presidency, I supported him because he was a businessman and he got things done. So that's what we need. We don't need lawyers, we don't need career politicians. Uh, right now we have a broken Congress. We need to have people that go there that can work with people. I negotiate hundreds of millions of dollars of contracts every year. I have no problem working with people, but of course I always work from a position of strength so that we get what we want. I was actually born in Memphis, Tennessee, and I grew up in Picayune, Mississippi. I left there for 24 years, built a huge company in Seattle, and me and my wife came back when our daughters were two and five because they didn't want to grow up in Seattle. So we came back to Mississippi, I built another <laughs> company, so lived in 2013 in Pickney, Mississippi, which I never dreamed when I finally got out of Pickney, Mississippi in the early 70s that I'd never come back there. But now it's a great place. So I still have a, a warehouse in the industrial park there. I brought a business that was going to be moved from Sennis to Slidell. Sorry. Uh, I tried to get them to come there. Uh, I remodeled my warehouse, talked them to stay in there, so we kept. 50, 60 jobs, and they're expanding and stuff. So my background being is, is that, being from business, I know how to attract businesses in Mississippi, and that's what we need. We need new businesses, we need good paying jobs, so we don't have to have the poorest state in the country. And we can do that with good jobs, and that's my background, so I, I believe, if I get elected, uh, I believe I can attract businesses there. And again, like I said, my normal speech is all gloom and doom because that's what's going on right now. So I'm trying to say upbeat, but uh, appreciate, you know, if anybody's uh, interested, go to Call for Congress, and uh, you can find all my positions, my issues, uh, my background, everything on there. I appreciate your time, Mary. Let's get on with this.